Hey guys, this is the slow roller. And the first time I took it out, I wasn't sure how the fish were gonna respond to this crazy slow roller tail in the back, but they absolutely did. In fact, they crushed it so much that my buddy said, hey, let's not share this on social media. Let's keep this to ourselves for a while. Well, I've kept it to myself for quite a while, and now it's time to share it with you guys. So let's take a look at the materials. Starting at the front, I've got a 60 degree jig shank. On the front, you'll see small yellow lead eyes. There is a shank and off the back, that's a B10S size number six as a stinger hook. And then I've got um, two types of marabou. Both are barred MFC, tan brown and brown black. So the lighter on the belly, the darker on the back. Then there's copper flashaboo mixed throughout the entire fly itself. And then the pectoral fins on the side are from grouse. So without further ado, let's get tying. All right, so let's get tying. I'm gonna start with a Gamagatsu B10S size number six. And for thread here, I'm using Vivas 100. And I'm just gonna take the thread all the way down to right to the hook point. Okay, next is gonna be our slow roller tails. This is in brown and they're size medium. And as you're pulling it out of the package and you're getting it prepared, you want to make sure that this twist, what looks like a cinnamon swirl, goes on the top of the hook. So here's what I mean. As you put your hook on the side, you want your tail to go right along the side. So I'm just going to do three loops, three loose wraps or four, whatever. And then make sure that it's along the side of the shank, but most importantly that this swirl is off the top. What that's going to do is help ensure that your um, twister tail here doesn't get twisted around your hook. And just to doubly secure, I'm just gonna pull it back and I'm gonna do some tight wraps right down the hook. Get to the back, pop it off, looks good. And I'm gonna wrap right back on the hook itself. Okay, so you can see it's off the back, which is good looking fine. Next, I'm going to use some MFC. This is Bard uh, Blood Quill and it's in tan and brown. So as you build this, basically what you want to do is use your um, lighter materials on the belly and of course your darker on the top. So I'm just going to strip off about an inch and a half worth of marabou. Pinch it between my finger here and I'm going to put that out the bottom. So I'm just gonna turn my hook upside down. Gonna do three loose wraps, that's good. Pull up so I know the material is up and then just tighten it right down. So I'm just gonna cut it off. I'm not doing anything fancy here, just looking for a little bit of light color on the bottom. All right, looks good. Next, I'm gonna do the exact um, well, not the exact opposite, but I'm going to use a darker color, which is black, brown, and blood quill from MFC. I've just got a, um, a dark marabou here. Just going to pull the feathers right off to the, the side and just pop them out. And do the exact same thing. I'm going to go right over top of where that previous bunch has been tied in. Just cinch it, lock it in place, and then cut it off. Okay, looks good. So next I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, copper flashaboo here, and I'm just gonna grab off, I don't know, half a dozen or so, clip them off, and I'm going to Look at the amount that I want out the back, which I want the back end to go out just beyond the tail a little bit. Tie that forward. Not worried too much about it being perfect. Pull those materials up on top of the hook. Secure it. And now I'm going to 
come back with this group, do the same thing. Moisten the ends of that flashaboo just to keep it together so you can grab it easier in a few. Pull that flash down and now I'm going to come forward for the last um, pieces of marabou. Okay, so next I'm gonna do the um, blood quill again in black and brown and I'm going to just grab about the same amount of marabou that I grabbed before previously. So just pull it off. And what you want, you want your tips to go about halfway back. So that looks good. Measure, pinch between your fingers, and pull forward. And we're going to do three loose wraps, and then just cinch it, secure it into place. And for these extra um, tips that you have here, we're just going to trim them, but don't worry. Give them a little bit of length so they kind of puff up in the in the back there. Okay, next we're going to our tan brown. So back to our, our blood quill. Grabbing that marabou feather that I had before and grabbing, again, about the same amount. So got it peeled. I want the same length. I've already measured the front part, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to flip my, my hook here. And I'm going to do three loose wraps. Make sure that it's on the bottom where I want it. Cinch, and then I'm going to leave that little bit of puff there too. Okay, let's rotate. I'm going to pull our materials back. If they're not perfectly top, bottom, who cares? Just pull them back. Basically going to tie over, and I'm going to go over once, twice, and I'm pulling down, putting some tension on there three times. Okay, that looks nice. Next, I'm going to hit it with um, my thread with a Copic marker. This happens to be copper. Any dark color would work just fine. Gonna hit it, and next we're gonna hit it with a little bit of super glue. So for super glue, I'm using Zap -a Gap in medium, right over the thread. And tie it off. Alright, that looks good. Alright, and then just hit it with the razor blade. Okay, so that's it for the back hook. Looks good. Okay, so for the front hook, we're actually going to use a Spawn 60 degree uh, micro shank. And because we're going to tie this Clouser style, which means the eyes are going to be on the bottom, it means that I want my hook here to be pointing down. So just pull it right over that shank, lock it into position, and I'm just going to use my hair clip to keep everything out of the way. So next I've got my Vivas 100 thread, and I'm just going to go over everything here. Make sure that I shut the gap between the, the shank. Next, I'm going to use lead eyes. These are yellow and they're size number or size small. And to secure the eyes, what I'm going to use is a Bob Clouser technique where basically you create a bump up front and you create a bump behind. And then you place your eye directly between those two and you do seven lashes going one direction, you come back and you do seven the other. And then I come underneath and I just do three or so wraps underneath to secure things and then come right back over. And that's going to lock everything in position, which looks really nice. And I'm going to come through with my super glue. I'm going to use Zappa Gap Thin. Less is more when it comes to 
thin because it goes so quickly and that'll lock everything into place. Okay, on the back here, so I'm going back to my copper flashaboo and this is the remnant piece that I had left over and I'm basically going to create a little mini skirt. So I'm going to go once there and then I'm going to basically pull it back. So I'm creating somewhat of a, a V shape there. And then on the bottom, I'm gonna take the remnant and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So just going to get it into position, three wraps or so. And I'm just gonna pull it back and secure it out of the way. So now we've got basically a nice little copper skirt. I don't want it going all the way back onto the feathers. That'll um, impact the motion and the movement. So I'm just gonna clip, leaving myself about a quarter inch or so of material. Again, it's more of a skirt than anything. And if there's any remnants that we don't get with that initial clip when we do the final trim, um, it'll work just fine. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the lighter material. So we're back to the tan brown. Uh, blood quill and I'm just gonna grab off a larger section again what we're trying to do is create a taper so I'm gonna grab off that's about an inch and a half or so worth of marabou and the more you use marabou the more you'll realize um, it's not all created equally and so you have to actually just kind of eyeball it a little bit and I'm gonna go to the bottom and hold the materials here in place actually show you a little trick you can go on top and you can do three loose wraps and then you can just basically shift everything down below. Make sure you have the right measurement. If you got a little too much because you did a loose wrap, you can just pull and once everything is secured and in position, you can cinch down. It's not going anywhere and now you can clip off the remnant materials that are up top here. So that's clipped. I've got it where I want. I'm just going to do a quick secure. And that looks just fine. Okay, great. Next, we're going to go back to our black brown blood quill, right, for the back itself. And I'm going to use my remnant pieces here. I want it to be about the same length as what I have on the bottom. And I'm going to pinch. And this isn't going to be enough, so I'm going to have to grab a little bit more material, which is cool. Three loose wraps. Make sure it's on top. Make sure it's at the length that you want it. I'm going to pull it in a little bit. Clip it off. Tighten down. And then I'm going to grab a little bit more marabou. And I always clip the center out because I don't like how it looks. Um, but there's the marabou pull it back, get that same length, about the same amount, three loose wraps, make sure it's on top, make sure it's the distance that you want, and then secure it. And that looks good. So next we want to put on our pictorial fins, and I've got here a grouse skin. And I'm basically just going to pick um, two feathers that have some nice uh, modeling on them and that are about a half inch or so at the base. And maybe it's so you can see the two feathers that I've picked. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually strip the marabou off both at the same time just by pinching with my left finger and I'm going to measure because I want them to go back about the length of the shank so I'm going to take a little bit more off looks good and next I'm going to tie them in and I'm going to tie them in so they go outside versus in close I want them sticking out a little like pectoral fins so I'm just going to go one, two, 
and pull it so you can see it sticks out a little bit and I'm going to do the same on the other side come in hold it into position one two three three loose wraps check and make sure they're about the same distance lengthwise which look good and I'm going to now pull tight and bend each one of the feathers stems back to just basically lock it into place looks good trim it if there's a little bit of extra who cares looks good it runs along the side of the hook which is exactly what we want and next I'm gonna grab my flashaboo again and I'm gonna run a little bit of flashaboo right across the the back I've got maybe five or six strands of material itself and I'm going to put it right on top three loose wraps in position tighten it down looks good fold it back over on itself and we'll do our final trim so I got the length right about where I want it I'm just going to come in and trim some of that out we're back to our tan brown blood quill and I've got a, a nice quill there I'm going to take the center out just because I don't like the way that the center looks when I pull all the marabou together and this is going to be the final piece which is going to be the belly which is going to go basically we're going to tie it forward and I want it to go half the distance on the back here so measure half the distance back pinch it between your fingers lay it down and just go through once twice three times okay now I'm going to twist the marabou just so I can get in there nice and tight and trim it trim it off without getting other materials when I do it okay looks good pulling nice and tight you can see it straightening out and then I'm going to come right over top of it and have it go right back. Just give yourself a little overage there. Okay, that's the belly. So for the back, again, we're back to our brown black marabou. So I've got a nice feather here. Measure half the distance of the last piece, which is right there. And now I'm going to tie it forward. Keep that copper material out of the way. One. Two. Three. And now cinch, keeping that material right on top. Come forward now do a loose wrap trim your materials off trim that marabou off pull that nice and tight so it's sitting upright and now pull everything back Come forward and lock it into position. Make sure everything is on top. Make sure your material on the bottom is all there. And that looks fantastic. Okay, final step. Just grab your Copix marker. This is color copper. Hit about an inch, inch and a half. And next, we're back to our zapping app. Main 
maintain that pressure on your thread. Get all the materials out of the way. And cinch one last time. All right, and hit it with the razor. All right, and there you have it, the slow roller. Hope that helps you out.